the winner of the 2013 Telstra New South Wales Business Woman of the Year is Janine Viviano. I'm shaking. <laughs> Look, this is totally unexpected um, and such a great honour. I'd like to thank Telstra and sponsors Commonwealth Bank and News Corp for encouraging women to share and celebrate our success stories. It's been, a, it's been wonderful listening over, over the past week to some amazing stories and they're truly inspirational. I would not be standing here in front of you if it wasn't for a few special people and I'd like to formally acknowledge them. Tim, my husband, soulmate, coach <laughs> and my biggest supporter who almost didn't make it here tonight because they closed the Great Western Highway today and Tim was stuck at Lithgow and was almost not here, so I'm glad they opened it, but I hope we can get home tomorrow. Now. Don't worry about that. <laughs> um, we've played tag team for years, caring for our three boys and keeping house and running the farm, and you've never stopped me from pursuing my passion, and I'm really grateful for that. And then my parents, um, who have had such a profound influence on who I am and how I view the world. I know that some of my choices have seemed to you to be odd, um, <laughs> but you've always supported me and you've not been judgmental, so thank you. And my work colleagues, um, Mark Patterson, who's the Director General for New South Wales Trade and Investment, Dr Richard Sheldrake, and David Kennedy, who obviously provided wonderful referees <laughs> for this process. So thank you to them. I feel quite proud to say that I'm the Deputy Director General for the New South Wales Department of Trade and Investment. It's the state lead economic development agency responsible for facilitating trade and investment, innovation, jobs and regional growth and development for New South Wales. My role is responsible for the finance strategy and the corporate operations of that organisation that has a budget of 2.5 billion, 8,000 staff across 200 offices across New South Wales and also overseas. Some of the entities within our department include the Department of Primary Industries. Now, I had written this before I knew the Minister for Primary Industries would be up here with me. That was fortuitous. Um, Um, but we're currently dealing with an avian influenza emergency at the moment, as well as responding to the fire emergencies across the state. Um, on the other hand, we've also got the Office of Liquor, Gaming and Racing. Um, we've got the Division of Resources and Energy and all things related to coal seam gas. Then we have the Arts. We've got Tourism and all the cultural institutions like the Opera House and the Library and the Museums and... Um, it's quite varied and diverse, but it makes my, my role quite fulfilling. I think the reason why I was nominated for the award was as a result of the amazing, groundbreaking, world-first project that my team has been involved with over the last 12 months. We've implemented a payroll and finance system using cloud technology within eight months and at a fraction of the cost of most tra traditional on-premise solutions. Experts in both the private and the public sector said we were crazy. It was untested and could not be done, especially by a team within the public sector. But that motivation to prove all our detractors wrong was very powerful and it enhanced the team's passion to actually succeed. So I'm only as good as the team around me, but I'm going to take full credit for recruiting all of those wonderful guys. <laughs> for being a really great judge of character and talent. Um, but at the end of the day, this award really is for my team, um, for being brave, courageous and innovative business leaders. So thank you very much.